allergic rhinitis is an immunoglobulin E mediated immunological response of nasal mucosa to airborne allergens and is characterized by watery nasal discharge, nasal obstruction, sneezing, and itching in the nose. This may also be associated with symptoms of itching in the eye, palate, and pharynx. There are two clinical types, seasonal and perennial. In seasonal variety, symptoms appear in or around a particular season where the pollens of a particular plant to which the patient is sensitive are present in the air. And in perennial variety, symptoms are present throughout the year. So why this allergic rhinitis develops? The first culprit is inhalant allergens. In seasonal variety, the allergens are pollens from trees, grasses, and weeds. In perennial variety, the allergens include molds, dust mites, cockroaches, and dander from animals. The second cause is genetic predisposition. If one or both parents suffer from allergic diathesis, then chances of children developing allergy are between 20 to 47 percent. Countries with high prevalence of asthma have high incidence of allergic rhinitis. Now I shall discuss some signs of allergic rhinitis that may be seen in nose, eyes, ears, pharynx and larynx. The external nasal sign is allergic salute. What is allergic salute? It is a transverse nasal crease. A black line across the middle of the dorsum of the nose is developed due to constant upward rubbing of the nose, uh, simulating a salute. On anterorhinoscopy, the nasal mucosa will look pale and edematous. Turbinates will be swollen, and thin watery or mucoid discharge may be seen. Ocular signs include edema of the lids, congestion and cobblestone appearance of the conjunctiva, and allergic shinar. The dark circles that develop under the eyes are called allergic shinars. Another ocular sign is Danny Morgan line. This is a fold or crease of skin below the lower eyelid which is seen in allergic condition. And we will see that there is a hyperplasia of submucosal lymphoid tissue and this is known as granular pharyngitis. A child with perennial allergic rhinitis may show all features of prolonged mouth breathing as seen in adenoid hyperplasia and this is known as allergic gape. Laryngeal signs are hoarseness and edema of the vocal cords. On autologic examination, we will see the tympanic membrane is retracted, and there may be signs of serous otitis media due to eustachian tube blockage. So, how we treat allergic rhinitis? The first thing is to avoid allergen. Then there are some drug therapy and patients unresponsive to medical therapy or with severe symptoms may be treated with immunotherapy. Surgery is done to give relief of nasal blockage but it is not curative for allergic rhinitis. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.